Peace and blessings, family. This is Damon K. Jones here. And um, I want to make a statement. And I hope people share this. I hope, I, hope, I hope people really, really share this. New York State Attorney General and black politicians throughout New York. We just seen two incidents of questionable police shootings. Uh, one in Rockland County. And two weeks later, another one in New Rochelle, dealing with mentally ill people and use of deadly force. We've been talking about this since the killing of Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. I'm assuming when then Governor Cuomo stepped down, we all forgot about it. The question is, what has the AG been doing all this time with all these reports? I know I was on the Westchester County Committee of reforming the police and looking at new policies and procedures. And we did a report and we made recommendations. Still waiting on those recommendations to come to fruition. But they all were supposed to be sent up to the AG's office. And as the top law enforcement professional in the state of New York, her office was supposed to make a blanket of recommendations for all the police departments in New York State. What happened? What happened? We know the majority of police departments in New York State are not trained to deal with the mentally ill. We already know that. That's no secret. It is what it is. So why are they still responding to mentally ill calls. The case over the, the, the case over in in Rockland County, the police should have never touched that man if they were professional mental health people on the scene. They should have never been asked to leave, as far as my understanding of the story. Nothing has changed. Black people and especially mentally ill black people are still being shot shot at and killed by untrained police officers to deal with mentally ill situations. It's time for the AG's office and politicians to get off their ass and actually put policies in place to address this. I've been in law enforcement for 33 years and police reform is just some rhetoric that come out a lot of these politicians' mouths. There are a lot of good cops out there, but they're put in situations that they shouldn't be put in. And they're using deadly force when they shouldn't be using deadly force. So for the respect of the citizens and the respect of the police officers, we have to make change. We have to make change. After George Floyd, it was a lot of rhetoric that we were going to change. And nothing has literally changed. Municipalities in Westchester, the majority of them still don't even have a civilian complaint review board, especially the ones that's run by Democrats. And they're the ones, the first marching, talking about no justice and no peace. It starts with you, politicians. It starts with you, legislators. It starts with you, police heads of these police departments. And it damn sure start with you, New York State Attorney General, Tis James, to get off your behinds and put some things in place. So we won't continue to see questionable police shootings by police with mentally ill black people and see mothers and fathers cry because they don't know why their son unarmed was killed. We have lacked humanity over rhetoric. So the question is, when y'all going to do something? When are you going to do something about it? 
And then you come into town and you get our votes and you go back up into your high hills and you do absolutely nothing for the people. But part of the problem is the people, too, because they keep voting for your asses. Every time I think you're going to change something, you do literally nothing. And then and then all we hear from you, Tish, is Trump. Let me tell you something. These mothers, these fathers that are losing their loved ones. Don't give a damn about Trump. They just lost a family member. We don't want to hear about Trump. We want to hear about policies that's going to create justice. That's policies that's going to protect the people, the taxpayers and the police to make sure mentally ill people when a parent calls the police for help, they don't come and kill them. They actually give them assistance and help. That's what the people want to hear. Nobody gives a damn about Trump. After 33 years in law enforcement. I have no faith. In a lot of these politicians, when it comes to police reform, I have no faith in a lot of these commissioners because they work at will of the politicians. And every six months and every year, someone's going to die. And nothing's going to change. And they're going to try to make that an isolated incident. It's not isolated because we're not changing policies, procedures and training and holding people accountable to their actions. You are failing the people. You are failing the mental health community. You are failing the police officers that have to respond to situations that they're not trained in. And ultimately you're failing yourselves because you're lying to yourself that you're doing something about it. Peace out.